them out of the playoffs last year, and it's 13. Their uh, second quarter, they're down 6 0 when Cruz gets on the board. Third quarter, no let up. Gomez, one of his three touchdowns on the day, 24 to 6 at that point. Goddard trying to get back in it late, but a fumble at the goal line seals the victory, and it's time to celebrate for Jim Miller, the head coach, the first championship for the city or for Las Cruces in a while. It's the third in school history. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I can't, you know, to go 14 0 and, and to do what these kids did. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a credit to your kids and the coaching staff and everybody. I tell you, it's awesome. All the hard work I've gone through for the past four years has come down to this game, and we did it, and that's all that matters. I mean, we're the best, best in the state of New Mexico. Big 12 championship game. Play like you practice. If that is true, then head coach Jim Miller's football practices at Las Cruces High were perfect all year long because his football team is just that, perfect. The New Mexico Quad A State Championship game versus Goddard today in Las Cruces. A crowd of 15,000 plus turned out at Aggie Memorial Stadium to watch the 13-0 Bulldogs. Those six points on the board belonged to Goddard in the first quarter, but Cruces took command from there. Isaac Gomez, one yard scoring run here, one of three touchdowns on the day for him. Gave Cruces a lead they would never give back. This long pass set up another score, make it 14-6 at the half. And Cruces rolled from there. Move over and let the big Bulldogs eat. Cruces finishes a perfect 14-0. Jim Miller's boys are state champions. Final score from Maggie Memorial Stadium, Las Cruces. Two dozen, Roswell Goddard, one dozen. There is a party on El Paseo Street, Hillary, wouldn't you say? This is the first state title for Cruces since 1975. If you missed the game, fear not, ABC7 very proud to bring it into your very warm living rooms this evening. We'll broadcast, broadcast the contest right after. Las Cruces cruise into a state championship, but first, the Miners versus Aggies in the Battle of I-10. Myers coach Jason Rabideau getting his first taste of the I-10 rivalry. Now if I had a picture of Coach Rab's reaction after that first taste. But that was then and this is now, as in now Jim Miller's the coach, now they're one of the state's best teams, and now a chance to show the rest of the state they're for real. A huge crowd out at Aggie Memorial Stadium to cheer on their undefeated Bulldogs. Las Cruces looking for a little payback. Remember Goddard eliminated them from the playoffs last year. But it's Goddard getting on the board first. Andrew Cheatham going up top to a wide open Rich Ramirez. This wasn't supposed to happen. Got it up 6 0. But back come the Bulldogs. Fourth and goal. Who's going to get it? You got it. Isaac Gomez, the touchdown machine, number 33 on the season. 7 to 6 Cruces. Then, minutes later, quarterback James Lopez. The pump fake. And then airing it out to Jaime Ramirez, who catches it. Gets it inside the 30 yard line. That will lead to another Gomez touchdown as the Dogs take a 14 6 halftime lead. First possession of the second half. It's Lopez again, but this time he's doing it on the ground. The 40 yard scamper, getting him inside the 15 yard line. That leads to a field goal. 17 6 Bulldogs. Then the icing on the cake. Touchdown number three by Isaac Gomez as he barrels his way in. It gives them the win and gets Coach Jim Miller an early shower. The perfect season is complete as the celebration begins. Dogs with plenty to be proud of. Final score, 24 to 14. The city of Las Cruces has now won four of the last five Quad A championships with Mayfield winning the last three, three of them prior to this one. But today belong to the Bulldogs. Just to, to see that clock go 24-12 at 0, zero, zero uh, oh, it's awesome. It's awesome, I tell you what. And, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just stunned. I mean, to, to, to do that and accomplish that is awesome. Again, the final 24 to 12. Coach Miller, more proof that nice guys don't always finish last. Congratulations again to the Bulldogs on a great game and a great season. Now, don't forget if those highlights didn't quench your thirst, you can see the game in its entirety tonight only on ABC7. We'll have it for you right after this newscast. And then again tomorrow morning at 11.30, Lou Romano, Jack Bonham, and myself had a lot of fun doing today. The Bulldogs face Roswell Goddard in the New Mexico Quad A State Championship. And early on, it's Isaac Gomez taking it in for the score. This could develop into a reoccurring theme. Nine seconds before the end of the half, it's Mr. Gomez once again. He finds the end zone. Gomez ended with three scores on the day and had 34 on the season. The Bulldogs seal the deal with defense Kyle Romney with the sack and forces a fumble. Oh, bad 
day for Goddard. Gatorade shower for the coach as it was all Las Cruces. The dogs claim their first state title since 1975 they ran but uh, defensively kept us through the whole, whole year and they did it again tonight and uh, you know you got to give them credit uh, we uh, we came through and we won the ball game it's awesome i can't even describe it it's just awesome we worked so hard for this and it paid off <laughs> great job by head coach jim miller and his bulldogs congratulations on the perfect season longhorn coach mac brown was trying j and j discount team has not lost a game all year long I don't think the Bulldogs want to start today. Along with Jack Bonham, I'm Lou Romano. Welcome to our coverage of the New Mexico State Quad A State High School Football Championship game between Cruces and Goddard. Jack, these two teams met uh, season opener earlier this year. Cruces blew them away. Does Goddard really have a chance 13 weeks later? I think they do. They've got a couple of kids that were hurt back playing again. Uh, they're running more of the option that uh, they had run throughout the season. But uh, I think uh, with the wind and everything, it, that could be a big factor, and uh, I think they'll uh, do a good job. A win by Las Cruces today. The Bulldogs have not won a state championship since 1975. What does a win by the Bulldogs do, not only for the school, but for this entire city of Cruces? Oh, they'll just go crazy. I mean, they've been the uh, stepchild of Mayfield for so many years, <laughs> having to listen to Mayfield, but uh, this year it'll, it'll turn it all around, and they'll be excited. Jack, what about the pressure? Is the pressure on Cruces here? They're undefeated. They've got to win. I don't think they have to win, but uh, I know Jimmy Miller, and the pressure's on him. I talked to him yesterday, and he's really feeling the pressure. All right, we'll be back with our coverage of the New Mexico Quad A State Championship game. This is ABC 7's coverage of the NMAA Quad A State Football Championship game between the hometown Las Cruces Bulldogs and the visiting Goddard Rockets. Along with Jack Bonham, I'm Lou Romano, and this is the perfect way for Las Cruces to cap off the season. Jack, undefeated, they got to win it with a state championship here. Lou, Coach Jim Miller of the Bulldogs, been nice to join us here before kickoff. Coach, you beat this team back in Week One. What's it going to take to beat them here in the championship game? I think turnovers going to be a big issue tonight uh, or to this afternoon. Uh, last week, last time we played them, uh, I think we were plus four on them, and uh, they turned the ball over against us, and we can't do that tonight. What about Robert Roberto Murrow, your star running back, broke his leg in this game, game Week Number One? Will we see him play today? Definitely. He worked hard to get back in his rehab, and uh, you know he was cleared to play on Monday. He practiced real hard. Uh, he's ready to go. And he's going to get some reps today. Fantastic. Thanks for talking to us, Coach. Good, Good luck to you. Thank you. Coach Jim Miller, in just two seasons here, has already amassed a 22 and 4 record. Now he's got his team on the cusp of a championship. Lou, back to you. Okay, Goddard will kick off to the hometown Cruces Bulldogs. What an event this should be, should the Bulldogs go out and win this football game. As you said, uh, Jack, the wind has picked up a little bit. If I was Goddard, I'd come in here thinking to throw. That could be a problem today. Here we go. It's fielded at the seven yard line and Cruces gets a decent return out to the 32 yard line. What do you say about Isaac Gomez, Jack? He really did a great job filling in for the injured Roberto Mora. <laughs> so Cruces will set up shop. First and 10 at its own 31. James Lopez, the quarterback. Is he out of the shotgun, Jack? Oh, we've got movement. <laughs> yeah, a uh, little jitters, I think, on both sides. You know, this is a state title game. Las Cruces high, boy. You know, Jack, looking at this Cruces team, defense has been unbelievable as we were talking about before if I was Goddard I'd probably want to come in here and try and throw the ball as we were talking about earlier because Cruz's defense against the run is, is incredible all right so Cruz is hit with an early five yard penalty now facing a first and 15 from its own 26 high snap and it's get oh God it was all over that one, Jack. Running right around the tackle for the rocket. Hondo Hannigan, Jack, blowing through there as if he was in the Cruces huddle. 
early in the season. Remember, Cruz has hammered Goddard earlier this year, so I think the Rockets have something to prove. They're coming in here on Cruz's home turf, and they get a nice defensive play to start the football game. Second and 21 now for Cruz's. It'll be Lopez looking for a place to go. Oh, shakes a few tackles. But still, nothing there. Out to the 21 for Lopez. You know what, Jack? I'm looking at Goddard. They're not really overexcited. It looks like they're mentally focused and ready to play. You know, sometimes you have to channel the excitement. That's the way Jernigan coaches his teams. They're very focused and, uh, and they come to do the job and everything else uh, doesn't matter. Not sure Cruz has wanted to start the football game this way. They're facing a third and 20 now from their own 21. See if Lopez goes to the air, obviously. See what Goddard does on defense here, Jack. Do you bring people here? There's a snap, Lopez looks to his right and fires. It's caught at the 25, way short of the first down though, so Goddard does its job, at least the Rockets' defense does on the first possession, and Cruces will have to punt. He's gonna always depend on, uh, Jernigan will always depend on that front five to put pressure and allowing his linebackers to roam. And, uh, I think that's gonna be one thing that uh, may be a little different than the last time they played. How important is it for Goddard to get on the scoreboard first? Oh, I think that's the biggest deal. And they're going to have the win, so I wouldn't be that surprised that it goes in the air. Now, this kick will be interesting with the win. Let's see. Cruz is punting. Oh, it's a knuckleball <laughs> and out of bounds at around midfield, so Goddard's going to be in great shape. Goddard will spread them all over the field. He'll have three wideouts to one side, two to the other, single backfield. Uh, he'll spread them out because he likes to use all the field for his option as well as his passing game. All right, well, the Goddard defense did its job. Of course, the penalty didn't, didn't hurt. Now we'll see what the Rocket offense can do. Richard Ramirez, the senior quarterback for the Goddard Rockets. Idris Smith and Andrea Cheatham behind him in the backfield. And their offensive line is a good one. First and 10, Goddard. It's a handoff up the middle, and Cruces is all over this one, Jack. Yeah, that was Cheatham. Trying to spell it out, but I got a feeling the ball's going in the air pretty quick. <laughs> so what do you do? You try and set up the pass with the run? Well, he may, he may try to do that. I just can't see that uh, he's going to stay with that one, especially with the wind. You've got to use that one while you got it. Well, let's see. I believe there was a Second loss of one and nine. a gain of one. Second and nine for the Rockets. One receiver is wide to the right. Got it in that patented I formation. Rodriguez, I'm sorry, Ramirez under center. It's the option. <laughs> Cheat him again. <laughs> Cruz is all over it again. They just have a hard time getting outside. Uh, Highland, when they played Las Cruces down here, the one big play they had, they went right up the middle. They got the linebackers and were gone. But trying to go sideline to sideline is really tough against Las Cruces. ABC Channel 7 in El Paso will air the tape delay broadcast of the Las Cruces High Roswell Battle game. I let that plug Third it in there, Jack. <laughs> this, is that old, this is the old polecat formation where they spread everybody out. He goes up top and has a man wide open. This will be a touchdown. We just said how important it was, Jack, for Adam to get on the scoreboard first, and they do. And that was Ramirez, the quarterback, that caught that pass and cheat him through it. That's a new formation. I was just going to say, we hadn't seen that on Goddard film this year. <laughs> well, you're coming into Cruz's house. They're undefeated. they got a great football team. You might as well pull out the, all the stops. That's one thing about Jernigan. He will always have little wrinkles that uh, will always surprise the other team. So Goddard on the board first. A little trickery as Ramirez catches a touchdown pass, and the Rockets strike first. Looks like they're going for two. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Chris sniffs it out, Jack. Yeah, Cheatham tried to try to get outside and they uh, spelled it out like he said, Lou, and that uh, ended that. That may turn out to be a really big point later on in the game. Just to let you know at home, uh, we are broadcasting from the PA announcer's booth. 
so it, uh, it's a little difficult for us. Bear with us. We'll uh, we'll work out a system. Okay, six nothing, Goddard. This is we'd like to. Okay, I'm told we're taking a break right now. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Goddard out in front of Crucis. Six nothing, first quarter. Right now we're talking about what a lift that must be to them to get on on the board. Remember this this uh, Crucis defense is only giving up a little more than six points a game. They're already down six nothing, first quarter. Goddard scoring on its first possession. I think that. Uh, Right now, Las Cruces just has to settle down. The, the wild snaps, and uh, it didn't look real smooth that first uh, possession. I think if they settle down, they'll be all right. Jack, these two teams met in the season opener. Chris has hammered him over there uh, in Roswell. Does that favor Goddard and the revenge factor? Does Chris has take Goddard uh, maybe a little lightly, even though it is a championship game? Well, that's possible, but you have to remember that last year, Goddard was the one that knocked Las Cruces out of the playoffs. So, Crucis has got that revenge factor also. Here's the kick. It's fielded at the nine-yard line. The Crucis special team has been pretty good this year. That's a nice little return out to the 32 by Isaac Lopez. So, Crucis will set up shop at their own 32. Six-nothing our score. While we have some time, we'd like to thank our sponsors for helping out ABC7's coverage of the state championship game. Peter Piper Pizza. Come for the pizza and stay for the fun. And by State National. Welcome to the new state of banking. El Paso Electric. Connecting to the community with reliability and Casino Apache and J&J &J Discount Building Materials. Here comes Cruces, Jack. Okay, have, have they awakened? I'd say they got the wake-up call pretty good. That's a option out of the shotgun. Pits that ball to Gomez, and he definitely can do the job. Senior Touchdown is his name, or his nickname anyway. you got to establish Gomez if you're going to win the football game. There's, there's no doubt. Oh, there's no question. They've got to be able to run the ball. And that helps their passing game. And they do have a decent passing game. So Cruces with his first first down of the game. Cruces trailing 6 nothing. We're in the first quarter, 746 and counting. Bulldogs now on first down. But Goddard's defense looks like they've got Cruces pretty well scouted. They're waiting for that trap. They uh, they were looking for that. And, uh, it uh, it's, may not work today because Cru uh, Goddard's front five comes so hard and they get penetration. That's tough to run a trap sometimes. Isaac Gomez. 31 touchdowns on the year. He's rushed for 1,463 yards and 189 carries. He's averaging seven yards per carry. Got it. Looks like they're ready for him today. Cruz is now facing a second and 12 from its own 42. Two receivers out to the right. Lopez has room, Jack. Lopez. <laughs> Good job. Got a lot of it back. He'd be looks like third and about three. I heard Jim Miller say he would try to attack the left front part of the Goddard uh, defense. That's exactly where they went on that play. So the last two plays for Las Cruces have resulted in first downs, and the Bulldogs are on the move into Goddard territory for the first time today. First and ten. I'm sorry. Third and three. It'll be third and three. Another high snap. He'll keep it and come left. Oh, he shakes a great hit, and I think he fell forward for the first down, Jack. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that, was a, that was a nice move, spin, and got in there. I think uh, I would worry about that snap. This is about the third poor snap, and uh, there's got to be a little concern. That thing may end up over his head. Ruben Reyes is the senior center for Las Cruces High, and as Jack was mentioning, those snaps out of the shotgun have been high. And if that wind gets swirling, <laughs> it could get interesting. But Cruces is on the move, first and 10 at the Goddard 42, and there's a flag on the play. It's a dead ball penalty. Jack, I didn't see what it was. I didn't see what it is either. Is it coming from the bench? Referees are talking with uh, Jim Miller. Maybe. Maybe Jim's getting a little vocal over there. I don't know. <laughs> May have been. It's a, it looks like it's a big one. Jim Miller. About five yards. Miller's okay. intense. 
Oh, there's no doubt. I saw him before the game. He was jumping on the backs of some of his assistant coaches. He, I think he wants to be out there. Give him a helmet. Oh, and he could play. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. All right, so Cruz is now first and 15. We got it at 47. Another high snap. Here's the option. Coming right. And a hole. Down inside the 40-yard line. And I don't believe what I'm seeing. I had to double-check the roster. Jack Roberto Moro, who's been out all year with that injured ankle. He was the workhorse for his Cruces team a year ago, and he's playing in the state championship game. I think that's a an important extra that Cruces has now. Uh, they can make a lot of, a lot of changes because that kid is a tough runner. If I'm playing for Las Cruces High and I see Moro get a nice game like that, it, it would jack me up. Oh, you bet. Right there, today, Miller has run more formations than I've ever seen him run. He's in multiple sets, not run a lot of different plays. Oh. That was the first pass of the game for Cruces High, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Ortega on the play. There were two Bulldogs right in the neighborhood, and Goddard had it well covered. Yeah, I think somebody must have messed up on a route. They should have been that close to each other. So Lopez 0 for 1. And now they're in another passing situation on third and eight, although with the formations Miller's throwing at us, you never know. Oh, he is. Uh, he just, he did this last week. And uh, out of the shotgun. I guess it's uh, so he can uh, let Lopez have a better view. Cruz is already trailing 6 nothing. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Another high snap. And he rolls, stops, and fires. Oh, it's caught and dropped. That hurts. It would have been short of that first down, but they'd have gone. Acosta had it. I think he was trying to do a little too much with it after he caught. He probably knew he was about a yard short of the first down, and he just dropped the football. So Cruz is not looking sharp, Jack. No, they aren't. I think Miller's going to go for it. Why not? As we mentioned, Cruz is high. He's only giving up an average of 6.7 points a game. They're already trailing 6-0 as Goddard scored on its first possession of the football game, and they lead it 6-0, and here we go. Chris will go for it on 4th and 8 from the 40-yard line. They fake the handoff. Lopez fires. Oh, it's intercepted. Jack Goddard's ready to play football today. They sure are. They're ready to go. That, uh... Number 82 is uh, the head coach's son, Sam Jernigan. Yeah. You know, I, I heard the, the knock on the young Jernigan that he, he wasn't fast, didn't have very good hands. He looked pretty good on that play. <laughs> Garner had that interception. I'll tell you, if uh, Goddard can go down and put it in again, uh, that'll give them the confidence that they need. Without question. Here they come. Single back formation. First and 10 from its own 40. It's the option. Oh, and they're all Cruces, over it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Cruces defense we've seen for the past 13 weeks. You just can't get outside on them. They're just too quick. Jack, you've seen yeah, more of Las Cruces Rockets than I have this year. Rockets. That front five for Las Cruces is superb. Anybody on that front five maybe have a shot at Division I football? Well, that's a possibility. Uh, Baker's, a, Baker's a good one, number nine. Uh, he may have a shot. He's a little light, but colleges will bulk him up. They've, uh, the kid that's uh, their uh, middle linebacker, Asa Allen, he's a good one. He's led them in tackles this year and last year, I believe. Loss of four on the play. It's second and 14 for Gotti. There's a little pass out in the flat. To cheat him. Well, Cruz is there again. They're just all over it. Let me talk about this Cruz's defense for just a moment. As I said, giving up less than seven points a football game all year long. Their scoring average at home, less than six, uh, less than seven as well, 6.5 at home. Looks they give like up an average of 45.4 yards per game rushing. Looks like there's a penalty <laughs> on that thing. You Maybe a, a personal foul, Cruz is. Oh, no. That'll give him a first, should be close to a first down. Geez, Jack, maybe Cruces needs a quarter or two to, to settle in. But you can't be giving away a down 6 nothing already. You don't want to be giving the team 15 yards. No, and I think that the key to Goddard is to keep that momentum going. You always hear about momentum, but right now, the momentum is with the white-shirted Goddard Rockets. Jack, let's not forget about Goddard. I mean, uh, you know, they're used to this playoff situation, especially in the state championship game. Oh, you bet. They've been there. They've won it several times. 
um, they've got the tradition, and that's one thing that Cruces doesn't have in the state playoffs is tradition. Right. They lost the title game last year in 97. They won it. This is the third straight trip, and here they go. It's a handoff, and well, that Cruces D, man, we sound like broken records, but I don't think God is going to have success running the football. That's the one thing I've been impressed with last year and this year is Las Cruces' defense. They're the, they're the guys that keep in the game and make the turnovers, and they do a great job. What do you, what do you suppose Goddard's philosophy is here? Maybe try and run first half and then come out throwing second half? I don't know. I, they're supposed to have a good passing game. I don't know why they're not throwing the ball more. All right, fourth and two. Chris will get the ball back here in all likelihood. It's nearly blocked. It's shanked to the right and out of bounds at around the Cruces 15 yard line. So Cruces will take over, trailing 6 0. We're in the first quarter of the NMAA Quad A state championship football game here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Our score with three minutes to go in the first quarter is the God of Rockets 6, the Cruces Bulldogs nothing. I've just been told, Jack, that we're back up on the air. <laughs> well, you know, that, that guy keeps sneaking in the back door and telling us that, so I guess we're going to have to do something. That is Eric Hughesby, the news director at ABC7, who's agreed to be the executive producer of our broadcast. Thank you, Eric. Lopez carries for Cruces on first down. And I couldn't tell where the ball went out of bounds, Jack. My vision was impaired. He gained, he gained about seven on that. And this is what Cruces has to do. I think they're going to have to get back in and establish a good running game and let that offensive line start taking it to the to the Goddard Rockets. Second and two for Las Cruces. Cruces on second and two out of the shotgun again. Another high snap, and this time it's over his head. But, but look. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not sure that's the way Miller drew it up. No. Budo was there, fortunately for Cruces. Dropped right into his hands, but there they are again. Have a great have a great first play, and now they end up and they lose about 10 on, on the next down. Ruben Reyes is the center for Las Cruces High, and as we've been talking about, his snaps out of the shotgun have been high this entire first quarter and we knew it was going to bite him and it certainly did there had Murrow not been there that could have been trouble so Cruz is now facing another third and long third and 14 from its own 11 yard line two receivers are to the right they're going to see uh, on third and 14 the quarterback keeps Jack what is, what is Miller thinking on that on third and 14 I don't know I always want it could be the fact that he wants to just make sure he keeps possession of the ball and not make a mistake this deep in his own territory. But now we've got the wind and another punt. Boy. Well, Cruz's high does not look like an undefeated football team at this point, although they're only down 6 nothing. with time winding down here in the first quarter. About a minute to go, and Cruz's will punt away again. Goddard has two players back to receive. Oh, there's a break for Goddard. That's oh my goodness. <laughs> Did that go out at about the 25? No, he's going. Well, Goddard's going to be, be about the 25, 28-yard line. Goddard's in great shape. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Goddard leading six nothing. They've played tremendous football through one quarter, at least almost through one quarter. And a touchdown here, or even, even a field goal, although I doubt it in this win, but a touchdown here, as you said, Jack, earlier, would really do a lot for the confidence of the God of Rockets. I think he's got to go to the air right now. No question. 50 seconds left with the wind in his favor. Go for it. And I'm not sure a player for Goddard's coming out, an official's timeout. This, is, this would be the perfect time. Well, he's spreading them out. That may be what they do. Yeah, four receivers. And it's three receivers in a slot. Ramirez to throw. He's going to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. Was it? No. Almost Nearly intercepted. intercepted. By number seven, Fernando Ortega. Ortega broke it up for Cruz's high. The intended receiver so you called it, Jack. Goddard was going to go to the air here pretty soon, especially with the 6 nothing lead with time winding down in the first. Well, he's got six seconds. He's got to go to the air again. Third and long. You have to remember that Cheatham, who's running a tailback, the only back in the backfield, 
he's the one that threw that first touchdown pass to Ramirez. Yeah. So they may pitch the ball to him and let him throw it. Third and eight for Goddard. The Rockets are leading 6 nothing with six seconds to go in the first quarter. Ramirez pumps, goes over the middle, has a receiver oh. wide open and overthrow him. Pass was a little bit high, Jack. Yeah, he, he had him. He was there. He was wide he open. Receiver 94, Corey Price incomplete. And I don't think that was the win. That's I think that was just a bad throw. We played one quarter here at Aggie Memorial. Las Cruces High, undefeated, looking for its first state championship since 75. The Bulldogs are trailing 6 0. End of one. We're back in a moment. Cruz is along with Jack Bonham. I'm Lou Romano of ABC7. Jack, this game has not gone the way I thought it was going to go. It's a 6 0 Goddard lead. Cruz is trailing, first of all. Second of all, Cheatham has a touchdown pass. <laughs> that's true. No, but that's a, a different wrinkle. At least I haven't seen it. Uh, Cruz has just got to get their, uh, their offense going because right now. It's not helping him at all. Fourth and eight for the Rockets. Okay, Goddard's going forward on fourth and eight. From the 27-yard line, Ramirez rolls and fires, and it's in and out of the hands of a receiver and nearly intercepted. Let's go down to Rick Cabrera, who's on the sidelines. Rick? Lou, something to think about here as the second quarter picks up. In that first quarter, Roswell had the wind, a 15, 20 mile per wind going from north to south through the end zone. They will not have that wind in the second half. In the second quarter, rather, we'll see the effects their passing attack. Okay, Rick, thanks. So Crystals will take over after Goddard goes for it on fourth down. Six nothing our score. We're just into the second quarter. The Rockets leading the Bulldogs. Again out of the shotgun, again a wobbly snap. It's an option play coming to the right. Gomez, the Gomez out of bounds at around the 36. Pretty close to a first down. That may have it. Yeah, from our vantage point, the Cruces players are uh, in the area of the first down mark. I couldn't tell if you got a little short. short. Okay, Second our executive game. producer, Eric Hughesby, tells me they're short. I believe him. <laughs> Chris has receivers split. Here's the snap. Lopez to throw over the middle. And I think it was trapped, incomplete. Just not getting the ball up. Jack, as I was saying earlier, this game has not gone the way I thought it was going to go. Cruz is already down 6 0. The Cruz's defense is only giving up six points a game uh, all year long. And for Goddard, their touchdown comes on a touchdown pass from Cheatham to the quarterback, Ramirez. What's going on here? I don't know. I also, that's typical of Sam. He uh, he will come up with a wrinkle uh, against everybody he plays every game. That was that may have been one of many that we may see. Third and one for Cruces. Again, they're out of the gun. It's a high snap. Lopez has to track it down, and he's nowhere near the first down. I don't think. No. Well, that snap is killing him, Jack. I tell you, I I I wouldn't be surprised if Miller didn't put uh, didn't put Lopez under center. I don't know how much longer you can go with those those kind of snaps. For those of you who may not know that the snap is probably the most taken for granted play in football, but it's so important because it interrupts the whole timing and the flow and the rhythm of what you're trying to do. And Chris has had problems with it so far today, and they find themselves punting again. He gets his ball up. This could be a long punt. Goddard has a man standing at the 27-yard line. It's a pretty good kick, considering the weather conditions. He's fielded at the 15. Those Cruces special teams are all over it. Oh, Jack, where's he going? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cheatham's lucky. Cheatham? Andrew Cheatham. Oh, boy. Boy, he took it back to the two-yard line. It could have been uh, disastrous. <laughs> right now, that what where he's at right now is the best position, but a whole lot better than that. Yeah, a lot better than where it could have been. And again, let's talk about those Cruces special teams. According to Jim Miller, I was reading a quote in the Las Cruces Sometimes newspaper. He really loves his special teams, pinning the opposition in the corners and, and keeping a, a good field position away from the Rockets. So now here's when Miller's defense will be good. Let's he's see what he can. does here. Okay. First and ten from the 16. Quarterback option. Right side, it's Cheatham. Nowhere to go. Gain of about one. Cheatham with the carry. Kyle Allen on the tackle for the Bulldogs. 
Jack, a young boy has just walked into our broadcast area. He's handing somebody some headphones, the PA man. What's your name, son? Robert Altamirano. Robert? Yes. Robert, who are you pulling for today? The Bulldogs. They're losing. I know, but they'll win. Okay. Robert said it. How old are you, Robert? Ten. Ten years old. Ten-year-old Robert says Chris will come back and win the game. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> What's his name? Larry, the PA announcer, will celebrate his 50th birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Larry. Thank you, guys. <laughs> 50, that's right, that's right in the middle of his life then. <laughs> Middle-aged. I hope so. Another 50 to you, Larry. Again, we are broadcasting from the PA booth, and we'd like to thank Larry for allowing us to come in. I know it was short notice. Larry, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Third and eight. <laughs> I think that made the air. Third and eight now for Goddard. Jackie was saying that Cruz's defense has to come up big. They're facing a third and eight. Let's see if Goddard throws the football here. Six nothing our score. Goddard calls timeout. Jack, the timeout was called by Cheatham, the running back, along yeah, the setback. He, he must have seen something that didn't look right. I know Cruz has backed off a lot of people on that play. They uh, only were rushing four that time and had a lot of coverage. Timeout on the field, timeout in the broadcast booth. We're back in a moment. Five, four, nine, eight. Oh, if they could spring this one. Oh. That's not going to work against the Cruces defense, I don't think, Jack. No, they're all over that. They, they just can't. Uh, they need to try to get down the field with the passing game. Swinging those passes out is just like an option. And Cruces is all over that. Now, here Goddard gets the punt with the win. Cruces has two men at around midfield. Back to receive the punt. 8.50 to go here in the second quarter. Los Cruces trailing Goddard 6-0 at Aggie Memorial Stadium. Oh, did he throw that, Jack? No, he punted it. <laughs> Almost hit his lineman in the back. That would have been disastrous. Well, you know, I can't tell if it's the weather, and I really don't think so, but uh, I expected both teams to be a little more crisp. This is the last game of the year you're playing for all the marbles. I really expected uh, both teams to be a little more sharp. Boy, both punters are really having trouble. <laughs> that one, that one didn't get maybe three foot off the ground. But he got a nice roll out of it. Yeah, yeah. 35 yards. <laughs> He's lucky it got through the hole. <laughs> All right, so Cruz sets up shot first and ten at its own 43. Official timeout. Lopez and the Bulldogs are trailing six nothing. They only have, to my recollection. Two first downs so far. The defense has put the clamps on Goddard after, since Goddard scored on his first possession. Here's the option. That's a nice little game. Ought to be a first down. Gomez almost to the 45-yard line. It's a first down, though. That's right when I say Cruz only has a couple of first downs. They hand it to Gomez, and it's a first down. Now Gomez is out and Murrow's in. We'll see what Murrow does. In case you're joining us late, Goddard scored on his first possession. They went for two. Cruz has snuffed it out, and that's where we stand. Second quarter, eight minutes to go. It's a 6 nothing Rockets lead. Cruz is trying to get on the move here. The snap is, is again. over his head. Nice play by the quarterback to, to find it. Now he's just trying to make something happen, Jack, and there's a flag on the play. I just can't believe that uh, Jim wouldn't go back to the, under the center. That thing, that snaps just really hurt him. Oh boy. Oh. They, Chris has got a break there. I still can't figure out the, the snap out of the shotgun. I haven't seen that be a problem uh, this year. Has Chris has run much, shot, uh, much uh, shotgun? Really, the mo most shotgun that they ran was last week when they played uh, Roswell. They went to the shotgun, and uh, I think he. I just think maybe second quarter he'll go back underneath center, or I should say second half. He's going under center. This now time. he's doing it. Yeah. Nope. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> okay. So Cruz is with the ball at the Goddard 38-yard line. It'll be a first and three. Lopez to throw. It's caught. Another flag. Got to 
be a first, you gotta be a face mask. Ortega made the catch, but there's a flag down. You saw a face mask, Miles? Okay, one of the people up here in the PA booth says it's a face mask. You got it, Miles. That's what it's gotta be. You nailed it, Miles. <laughs> Even though Miles is a Packer. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing this Packer jacket. I didn't know Green Bay still had a team. They still have a team? Do they? I'm kidding. I'm a cowboy fan. I can pop off a little bit since we beat you. Miles, are you listening to me? Well, Miles. <laughs> Lou being a Cowboy fan, that's not a lot to brag about. <laughs> okay, Jack. <laughs> but I can't Uber brag. Boomer, what should I call you? Chris will take the penalty here, Jack, and they're on the move now. First and 10 at the 18. Oh, boy, they, 71 did a great job. Parsons, Chris Parsons, Goddard, as you said, Jack, was all over it. Yeah, he did a great job. He got in the crack and was able to knock it down. But I can't give the Cowboys a hard time. I'm a 49er fan. What does that tell you? 49ers? Do they still have a team? Not at all. I think the NFL is, is no fun when teams like the 49ers and Packers aren't good. I think the NFL spread too thin. There he is. Now he's under center. Okay. Second and ten. And Lopez is under center for the first time today. He keeps... Goes to the left side, finds a hole, and he's down to the six-yard line. So Cruz is with the help of a few penalties, and they finally put him under center, Jackson, so snaps out of the shotgun were way high and disrupting the offensive flow. Now they find the ball at the six-yard line. I think he'll uh, stay under there. Uh, running the option from under center is a little tougher to defense than trying to do that stuff out of the shotgun. All right, this is Cruz's biggest or deepest penetration of the football game. First and goal from the six. They're trailing 6 nothing. Just less than seven minutes to go in the first quarter. It's a handoff, Gomez. Down to the two. I can't imagine Las Cruces High not getting a touchdown here, Jack. Well, they're going to have to admit... Oh, There's no. five yards. Well, that's how you imagine it. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Got our defense has played well today. At the 12 yard line. Odoro. Oh, he's a tough runner. He is. No, he was down. He was down. He is. He's tough. And, and both he and Gomez are really bad. And now they're just alternating them. So the ball popped loose, but not a fumble. All right, let's see what Cruz can do here. Second and seven. They had the ball down to the two. Penalties brought it back. They're trailing six nothing. Lopez. There it is. Almost. Oh. <laughs> down to the one. Jack, I'm not sure if I want to run wide here down from the one yard line. I think if they just get it to Gotta go right at Gomez him. right up the middle. But I'm not gonna tell Jim Miller how to coach. 22 and 4 in two years as a head coach. I think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> here we go, the crowd now getting on its feet and getting into the game for the first time since the opening kick. Third and goal from the one for Curses. Stop short. No, he was short of the goal line. Was that, I couldn't tell, was that, was that Gomez? Yes. Okay. 
You know, it's sad for the other teams in the district that uh, Cruces plays in is Lopez and Gomez are both juniors. I know, Jack, but I don't want to think about next year. I don't think Cruces fans do either. No, nope, they want it right now. <laughs> yeah. Fourth down. Boy, what a defensive stand this would be if Goddard could stop this uh, touchdown. It'd be huge. Here we go. Fourth and one from the one. Rockets leading 6-0. It's a toss to the left. This will touchdown. be a touchdown. Chris is high. He's on the board. Gomez from the yard out. Chris has tied the game, and they went wide when you and I were saying go up the middle. <laughs> well, they really went. They, that was the short side. Everybody was over, over on the right side of the football. There were only two linemen on the left. And with a fullback over there, and that's the way they went. They really didn't go that wide, but uh, it was a good call. And unfortunately, Ramirez from Goddard missed the tackle. Gabe Lopez try and give Cruces the lead. It's good. Las Cruces High has taken the lead. It's been noticeable out here with the painted head. How long have you been doing that? Uh, since 94. Why do you do it? Uh, it kind of gets the kids inspired. It, I started out just putting dog feet on it. The paws, marks, and then I switched over and just started painting it. it makes me feel good. It makes them feel good. Fantastic. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. Cheatham re returning for Goddard. He's turning something into nothing. Nothing into something. Three, three, uh, two, you know, Jack, getting back to that Jesse guy, we get out to just about every Cruces home football game, and he is in our highlights just about 90% of the time. I love to see the, the spirit that that guy has. I'll tell you, it's amazing. I, I don't think uh, that I would do it, but uh, he's he <laughs> definitely is a, a big part, and they enjoy him. You mean shave your head or go with the makeup? Probably both. <laughs> So Goddard gets a nice return right when Cruces takes the lead, 7-6. Goddard gets a nice return from Cheatham, and they've got a first and 10 at their own 37. 339 to play, first half, it's 7 to 6, Cruces leading. Here's the option. Ball's on the floor. Goddard got it back, but the Cruces D had five shirts all over it. I'm still waiting to see Goddard throw the football, Jack. See if they open it up in the second half. I, th second I think they're going to have to, especially if uh, Cruces is going to get the ball. Uh, and if they go down and score again, then that's gonna, Goddard's just almost going to have to start throwing the ball. We haven't had a turnover yet in the football game. Cruces high is plus 25 in the turnover category this year. That's one of the reasons why they're unbeaten and playing for a state championship. Second and 17 for Goddard. Loss of seven on the play. Ramirez pass is caught and tackled just short of the 40 yard line. Pass complete to number 13. I really think Goddard's gonna throw the football much more in the second half, Jack. Oh, I think they have to. Third and eight. Ball on the Goddard 39 yard line. With 227, he's going to have to throw the ball all the way. He doesn't want to give the ball back to Cruces. I was just going to say that. You don't want Cruces to touch the football again. No, they, they uh, have to keep the ball. Big third down, or they're probably going to get the ball back. Draw. Ramirez runs a draw play. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Jack says he saw a clip. Did you see a clip, Jack? Well, I don't think it was a clip, but I think that's what they're going to call on him. Flipping against the Rockets. So number 13. He, uh, that's a tough call sometimes, whether he got his head in front of the player or not. And evidently the official felt like he didn't. Eric Estep. I'll tell you that right now they're, uh, they're going to decline it. They're going to punt the ball. Cruces has got enough time to score again. Right. Cruces has a little more uh, bounce in their step, Jack, after going up 7-6. Yep, they're a little, a little more awake now. 
Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Peter Piper Pizza, State National Bank, El Paso Electric, Casino Apache, and J&J &J Discount Building Materials. Ramirez, hunting for the rockets. See what kind of pump we get here. <laughs> Jeez, line drives. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think they're doing this on purpose. Boy. So Chris will get the football again, leading 7-6 to six with a buck 40 to go in the second quarter. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, while we were away, Lopez on a quarterback keep for a small game. One minute, 25 seconds to go, second quarter. Cruces has a 7-6 lead. They scored on their last possession, the Bulldogs did, to take the 7-6 lead. And keep in mind, Goddard went for two after scoring a touchdown, and Cruces snuffed it out. So it's second and nine from the 28. Clock running at a minute, 10 seconds to go. Lopez pumps. Got it. Now he goes deep. He's got a man open. It's caught at the 40 and knocked out of bounds. Just short of the 25-yard line. Ramirez with the catch, and that pumps up the Cruz's team and crowd as they try and march in with less than a minute to go in the quarter. The completion gives the Bulldogs a first and Boy, Goddard's got to stop a touchdown here. The worst they want to do is give up a field goal. The Bulldogs settling in. It happened about six minutes ago when, with the help of a few penalties, they punched it in to take the 7-6 lead, and here they go with less than a minute to go, leading 7-6. They're threatening again. First and 10 from the 26. Back to the shotgun now. They fake the inside handoff. Pass out the flat. Caught. Shakes a tackle. He down to the 20-yard line. Michael Smith. And timeout, Los Cruces. Smith did a nice job of shaking a tackle to pick up an extra yard. He's down to the 19. So here comes Cruz's Jack. <laughs> I'll tell you that, talk about momentum changing. For Goddard's sake, they've got, they've got to keep him out of the end zone. What do you suppose Coach Miller's telling his Bulldogs right now? Coaches and I think he's probably telling him to give Lopez plenty of time. <laughs> and keep those snaps low. <laughs> right, don't mess up a snap <laughs> yeah. now. On the other side of the football, if you're Coach Jernigan, look, if at all possible, hold these guys to a field goal. Last thing we want is Cruces to get a touchdown here with 30 seconds to go in the half. That's right. Goddard's played well, I, I will say that, Jack. I thought Cruces would come in here and, and really blow him off the field, especially here in Cruces' own uh, home turf. But the Rockets have played well. Let's see if they can come up with a mini stand here and go in down one at the half, 7-6. On the other side of the football, Cruces can really take control of the game and the momentum with a touchdown here. Two receivers are split left for Cruces. 32 seconds to go, second quarter, 7-6. Bulldogs leading, they're on the move again. Lopez out of the shotgun, looks to his left and fires. It's caught. Need another timeout. Pass complete to number seven, Fernando Ortega. Timeout, Las Cruces. Ortega makes a catch. He's down to the, about the 10, I want to say the 11 yard line. Is he inside the 10? Yeah, I think he's down to the okay, 9. Okay, he's at the 9. Earth Jones Campus Specialties is a major sponsor of the NMA. Carries the 25 seconds now. championship If you were a member of a past state championship team, would like a keepsake of your championship experience. Las Cruces High, looking for its first state championship since 1975. Jack, since 1972, the state championship game has only been played here once. I believe Mayfield saw Hobbs in that state championship game, and Hobbs beat him. So a win by Cruces here today would be the first time that the hometown fans here in Cruces could watch one of its teams capture a state championship. Oh, and winning in front of the hometown fans is, is everything. Uh, I think uh, no telling what this place would be like if they win. Jack, what kind of pressure was Cruces feeling coming into this game, being undefeated and ranked number one? I think they felt like they were, uh, you know, they, they were in a position to win, that they could win, but you still in the back of your mind have to think about what happened last year. All right, here we go. After the timeout, 25 seconds to go, second quarter. Cruces leading 7-6. They have the ball. First and goal from the nine. 
Receiver in motion. Play action fake. Lopez is keeping it. He's down to the five. Tackled at the two yard line. Time's a factor now here, Jack. 13. Clock stops at 13 he needs seconds. To spike it. Set it up. 11 seconds and counting. He spikes it with nine seconds to go in the second quarter. I think you have time for one play? No. Probably I think one. You can. Let's go down to Rick Cabrera, who's on the sidelines. Rick? I don't know if you guys can see, but Robert Murrow has painted his face like a skeleton. I guess it signifies his return from the dead. No one expected to see him this season. Now he's having a great game. Back to you guys. Yeah, Rick, you're right. As Jack was talking about earlier, return of Morrow has really lifted Cruz's high. Nine seconds to go, second quarter. Cruz is leading 7-6. They've got a third and goal from the one. Going touchdown, touchdown. Las Cruces high. Touchdown, Las Cruces. Isaac Gomez from a yard out. Touchdown, That's exactly what Goddard did not want and exactly what Cruces almost had to have, really. As far as momentum goes, going into the locker room. That's true. Now, Jernigan's going to have to do a heck of a job on his kids to get them up and ready to come out and play second half. Love it. Gabe Lopez was also a member of the soccer team, Las Cruces High. Oh, oh did, did that make it, Jack? I, I, I think it did. Okay. <laughs> you know what, Jack? The way this game's been going with the kicking game, I'd give the MVP to Lopez right now. <laughs> it might be, the way. Cruces High has scored 14 unanswered points and with five seconds to go in the first half, the Bulldogs have opened a 14. All right, we'll see. Cruz is to kick off. It's been an exciting game to watch so far. Ramirez has got it. That's it, halftime. We'll go to the half. Goddard scored on his first possession to take a 6 nothing lead. For two point. Dan Solswadel, the executive director of the NMAA, Seems like another great 4A championship, huh? There's nothing like this NMA state championship <laughs> stuff. There's nothing like this. There's no, the atmosphere is unequal to any place in education, I think. Talk about your role as executive director. What do you, what's that entail? Well, it entails a lot of things. I direct everything from at the athletic, non-athletic activities involved in the whole organization. We have about 70,000 kids participating statewide, which represents about 60% of the total student population. We have we have about 1.2 million people who watch high school activities in our state. So we're very, very proud of the impact that high school activities in the NMA has on the total educational experience in our state. What's the future hold for the New Mexico Activity Activities Association? Well, I think you're going to continue to see a participation and growth because any time in our system of achievement, of course, the objective is to teach morals, character, and the American system of achievement. The whole idea is for us to teach kids how to succeed and how to compete in a competitive society. I can't see that ever going away, even if the, if, even if the paradigm for education changes. Everybody's got to learn how to compete, and everybody's got to learn how to succeed in one form or another, regardless of how technology advances and changes or adjusts the educational uh, look the way we have it right now. Uh, we're going to have more participation. I think uh, we're going to see facility issues become bigger. I think we're going to see perspective continue to be a, an issue and something as you grow bigger, those are always going to be problems that, that are going to, going to be a part of it, certainly, and we're going to have to deal with them as schools and as, as an organization. Well, good luck to you and thank you for talking to us. Mr. Solis-Wadel, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming. No problem. We'll be back with more halftime right after this. <laughs> director for the NMAA. Talk to me a little bit about what your role is with the NMAA. Well, uh, I'm the communications coordinator, so I handle all the media, uh, internal and external communications. I also manage the website. A uh, very vital role, I feel, uh, and we feel it's a new position at the NMAA. Uh, really, the premise of it all is, is to really build relationships, get out to the grass. Excuse me, I'm going to cut that and say it over again. <laughs> the real premise of it is to really uh, build relationships. Uh, the grassroots get in with the community uh, a little bit deeper and uh, build those relationships and let people know who we are. The NMAA, is, it's, it's a name a lot of people hear, a lot of people don't really know what it is. And that's something we want to really work at is making our 
association more visible. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us, Jason. Thank you. Oh, this is ABC 7's coverage of the NMAA Quad A State High School Football Championship game. Team that was down 6 0 after Goddard scored on his first possession, and the Bulldogs come back with 14 unanswered points. I think they finally, uh, you know, woke up and decided it was time to play football. And once they got out of that shotgun where the ball, the snap was so treacherous, uh, <laughs> those, those two drives moved right down the field. Now, Goddard scored its touchdown. Uh, I want to say unconventionally with the quarterback, Ramirez, getting a touchdown Goddard pass from the running back, Cheatham. That's right. I hadn't uh, seen that before. I remember a couple of years ago when uh, Mayfield High School played uh, Goddard and Sam Jernigan from, from uh, Goddard did the same crazy type of thing. Just an unconventional call, but it scored a touchdown for him. So he's always got something in the back of his mind. <laughs> it looked like it took Cruz about a quarter and a half to settle in, get out of the jitters. Uh, they were moving backwards on different occasions. But they did come back with those 14 points to take the 14-6 lead. If you're Goddard, are you still feeling pretty good about yourself? I imagine they are, and I look for them to pass in the second half. I think that's the only way they're going to be able to win the ball game. they got to throw it. They had no success running the ball at all. Uh, Cruces is just too quick on the line. And a sad thing for Goddard is Cruz is going to get the ball back with the wind in the third quarter. What if you're Las Cruces now? Uh, have you settled in? Do you, do you, I'm guessing the confidence is probably a little bit higher now than it was at the start of the game. Yeah, I, I think the kids are relaxed now and they're ready to play. I would I would look for Cruces to come out and run a uh, little option and, and why he's got the ball, the wind with the, with him this quarter, I think he'll throw it more. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and go down to the sidelines now where ABC 7's Rick Cabrera is. Rick? Lou, the, the Goddard will have the wind in the fourth quarter. 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. You can see the flags kicking in. So that we'll see what, how that impacts the fourth quarter when Goddard gets the wind and can use that passing attack. Back to you guys. Okay, Jack. Rick feels the same way we do, although Las Cruces High will get the football back here to start the second, uh, the second half. Once again, Las Cruces High is looking for its first state championship since 1975. I have to imagine the pressure was on the Bulldogs and still is on the Bulldogs, being ranked number one, undefeated. They're in their own backyard. But this Goddard team, Jack, I'm not ready to count out yet because they have played pretty good football and they're used to being here. Well, I think that's true. They've been in the championship before, uh, and that helps any program. They're not that far out of it. One touchdown, and they're back right tied in that ball game. I think, uh, I think the first drive Goddard gets, it's real important. They need to stop Cruces now and take the ball down and score. Was it a mistake for Goddard to go for two? The Rockets scored on their first possession, then went for two, and Cruces snuffed it out. Well, I just wonder, why would they... Early in the game, would you go for two? I'm just wondering if they have an extra point kicker. Ah, uh, <laughs> good point. <laughs> a lot of times, how do you, how do you get to the state championship game without a kick, uh, a kicker who can kick extra points? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any idea. Should but. be an interesting second half. Again, we look for the Goddard Rockets to throw the football. They've had really zero success running it. Nobody's had success against this Cruces defense running the football. But Goddard's got to play defense first as Cruces will get the football to begin the second half. This is ABC 7's coverage of the NMAA Quad A State High School Football Championship game in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And right as we kick it off, and here we go. The PA announcer, Larry, look at the kickoff. <laughs> Jack, what is going on with the kicking game in this football game? <laughs> well, there they are. Great field position again. I'd like to thank our sponsors real quickly for help making this broadcast possible. Peter Piper Pizza. Come for the pizza and stay for the fun. And by State National. Welcome to the new state of banking. El Paso Electric. Connecting to the community with reliability. Casino Apache and J&J &J Discount Building Materials all contributing to the sponsorship of our broadcast. Back at Here the we shotgun. go. They're back to the shotgun, Jack. Let's see if uh, the center Reyes... That's another high snap. <laughs> Here comes Gomez looking for room. Gain of about I one. Gomez, Jack, we Harry. just can't figure out what Cruces is doing. Those shotgun snaps have been high all day. When they finally put uh, the quarterback under center, they were able to get something going. So... I'm not sure I understand what's going on. Jack, help I, me out. I have no idea. I would have thought he would have stayed back under center, but uh, he must have confidence. Maybe they worked it out at halftime. Let's 
see if the Goddard defense is going to change anything here in the second, second half. Goddard's front four and front five have been All tremendous so far. Second and nine now from the 42. It's a keeper. He finds a hole. Now it's a foot race. The 30. The 20. Smith caught him. Lopez down to the 17 yard line. And that's exactly what Goddard did not want to happen. Cruz is getting a big play to start the third quarter. Those of you joining us late, Chrysus leads 14 to 6. We've just begun the third quarter. And James Lopez with a huge gain. Cruz is back in business now. First and 10 from the Goddard 17 yard line. And as we said, Jack, it looks like Cruz's has got a little more bounce in their step now. They're playing with a little more confidence. They sure are. Gomez turns the corner. Down to the seven. A touchdown here by Cruz's Jack, and I hate to say it in the third quarter, but I think the football game could be over. It would make it uh, pretty tough on Goddard to try to come back because they haven't had any success except for that very first drive. Ball on the Goddard eight-yard line. Let's see what the Bulldogs do. There's a receiver to the left. Another one comes wide to the right. Second and one on the eight-yard line. Goddard with a five-man front. Here they come, and they're all over it. Great penetration by the Rocket front five. They did. They tried to run the trap, and it wasn't there. Too much penetration. Jack, I'm having a hard time gauging how many people are at the football game here at Aggie Memorial. Can't really tell. Looks like the near sideline, the press box sideline, is pretty full, and the far side of the field is maybe what half full yeah they're pro they probably Third? maybe uh 20 20 20 23 something like that that's great for high school athletics sure is be great for cruces to get a score here on third and three it's a toss to gomez left first down it's a first down that's right jack boy cruces looks like a different football team to start the second half than they did back in in the first quarter. Well, they did that. The last six minutes of the first half made a lot of difference. They uh, got their act together, and now everything is clicking. You know, Jack Mayfield High won three of the last four state championships, and Cruces appears to be on its way to winning one here. What does that say about the quality of high school football in the city of Las Cruces? Oh, it's tremendous. We uh, we play against uh, both these teams, and, and I think that uh, they've got the programs going, and it's going to be hard to hard to keep uh, the championship out of Las Cruces. There's a snap. Goddard gets good penetration. And Roberto Muro. No game for Roberto Moro. Getting back to what you were saying, Jack, for those of you who don't know, Jack Bonham, uh, my color commentary Moro. partner, is a former head coach here at Las Cruces High. Uh, was it, I'm sorry, uh, Gadsden High. And uh, now you're the AD of the uh, Gadsden School District. Right. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's fun playing these guys. You know, you I've known, I've well, known the coaches for a lot of years, and and it's tough to play against your friends, but it's always fun to beat them. <laughs> and I I think uh, Crucis has got some young talent, and uh, so does Mayfield. Uh, they're both quality programs. All right, we'll talk more about those programs when we come back. Cruces on the doorstep again, leading 14-6, third quarter. We'll be back. 5 leading 14-6, third quarter. Tosses to Gomez left. Give credit to Goddard here, Jack. They're, they're not rolling over. Boy, they're doing a great job. This would be a great feather in their hat if they can hold them to that field goal. And I think Miller, if he doesn't put it in this time, will kick the field goal. Especially due to the fact that Corey Goddard Price missed that extra point. For the so we'll see what Cruces comes up with facing a third and four, go third and goal from the four. Again, the Bulldogs have scored 14 straight points to take the 14 6 lead. We're just about halfway through the third quarter. Two receive Gomez is the lone setback on third and goal from the four. It's coming this way. Play action fake. He'll keep it. That's oh, not going to. Ramirez oh. did a great job for Goddard. And you were right, Jack. Hats off to that Goddard front four. That was a 
heck of a play. I can't make out his number. I think it was number 62 for uh, Goddard. That is Aaron Payne. He's a senior, and he came up with a huge play there. Let's see what uh, – the, okay, they'll go for the field goal. <coughs> yeah, having the wind. Although the wind's not blowing straight down the field anymore, looking at the flags. Uh, they're, they're swirling. <laughs> this stadium, when the wind blows yeah. in here, you never know. Attempting. Gabe Lopez on to extend Cruz's lead. Field goal, Gabe Lopez. Looks he good. got it. And the field goal is good. Las Cruces highs. First possession of the third quarter is a field goal from Gabe Lopez. The Bulldogs extend their lead 17-6 in the state high school football. According to Coach Sam Jernigan, he's lost faith in kicker Jay Roach, the junior. So they feel safer going for the two-point conversion. We'll see what they do if they score again. Okay, it's yours. Kick off, Lovin's going deep. Oh, this one's not going to get returned. Where did that kick come from, Jack? We haven't seen a kick like that all game. Okay. Well, I think he finally got it up in the wind. That's what we thought on all the punts and everything, but they've been low line drives. This one, he got up and the wind took over. Goddard's got to move the ball this time. It almost looks like Cruz has came out with different footballs here in the, in the second half. In case you're joining us late, Cruz has got off to a slow start. They trailed 6-0. They've since scored 17 straight points, including a field goal on the opening drive of the third quarter. Let's see if the Rockets can answer now. First and 10 from their own 20. Play action fake to the first man through. Got about three and then a bunch of red jerseys there to make the hit. Now that's different. They lined up with double tight ends and a wing out of the eye and... Cruces like is saying fumble. fumble. On the play recovered by the Bulldogs. Cruces is saying fumble and it's recovered. I don't think the officials have made a decision yet. David Alayo came out with the football for Cruces. I didn't see the football hit the carpet, at least I, I when the play either. came to an end. Goddard remains possession. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> crowd here at Aggie Memorial sure doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't know why their team looks unbeatable right now. 17 to 6 with the lead. We're seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Second and six for the Rockets. Jack, remind me to come back and talk more about the quality of uh, high school football in the city of Las Cruces. Maybe after this play. Okay. Second and six. See, there the they Rockets. are, the double tight and, uh, and the eye with a wing. That's different than they ran all first half. Oops. Now we've got now a Now the ball's on the ah. ground. I think the Bulldogs have it. Nope. No. Nope. Goddard got it. Nope. He got it back. Fumble recovered by Jack, let's Goddard. get back to the quality of football in the city of Las Cruces. You would think, you know, teams from Albuquerque would be reeling off all the state championships, and that hasn't been the case. Why do you suppose that is? I just think it's it's the approach that the, uh, that the head coaches and their assistants take. Uh, you have to understand, you have Jim Bradley, who's been coaching probably 40 years had been at the college level, was successful at not only Mayfield where he won his first championship in 71, but he was successful when he came back the second time. I talked with Bradley uh, this week. I'll tell you what he said in a second. There's a hit and a fumble. And Goddard got it again. Oh, boy. Man, I can't tell you the difference between Cruz's High's attitude and level of play here in the second half as opposed to the first half. I think this is the Cruz's football team we've seen all year. They they know the game's theirs. Four and then 25. You know, you can, the you can see the kids. They're excited. They just want that clock to run. Now, here, here they are punting out of their own end zone. No telling what this kick will be like. Last one, he just missed his lineman. Yeah, I remember. He almost hit him in the back. Well, that's, that's a better best one. Best kick, yeah, for him. That's a fair catch for Cruces High at the 32. So Cruces will be in tremendous field position. Already leading 17-6. They'll have it at the Goddard 32 when ABC 7's coverage of the state football championship game continues. Leading 17-6, they're looking for more. Lopez is flushed out of the pocket, hit for a huge gain on a sack as the Rocket defense will not quit. Ramirez is there. They didn't have a chance. He ran the fake and 
Ramirez didn't buy it. That amounts to about, geez, what is that? Maybe a ten, at least a 10 yard loss. Jack, it was good to see though, I think Lopez was looking to throw the football there, which indicates to me that, you know, Cruz is really going to go for the jugular if it can. Oh, they are. They get a touchdown here, and it's just about over with. They're facing a second and 21 back in the shotgun. The snap is right to him. That's the play they ran with uh, Lopez and that long gainer right up the middle, but Goddard stopped that. I love the heart of the Goddard Rockets right now, Jack. It'd be real easy for him to roll over and maybe not play as hard, but the defense at least is, is playing their hearts out. They know they're down 17-6. They know they're probably playing a, a much better football team, and they're trying to hang right in there. Well, they've got to know that if they give up this score, it's just almost completely no chance then. Okay. They've got to hang tough here and, and get the ball back with some decent field position. All three of Las Cruces' scores, the two touchdowns and the field goal, have come with the help of a big play. There haven't been uh, long sustained drives by the Bulldogs, so maybe if Goddard can just cut out that big play, maybe they can get back into this. Okay. That, uh, that would be a big help, yeah. I think uh, it's interesting the way Goddard's played the pass. That's what, oh. <laughs> Might as well. Caught. Oh, and a great that's hit. That's an incomplete Yeah, pass. that's incomplete. That's Number three. Yeah, well, There's a flag on the play. Probably holding. The hit was by number 94 for okay. Goddard. Roughing the passer. Roughing I didn't see passer. it. Did you see it, Eric? I, I didn't see it either. Oh, man. Goddard gets a great hit by Corey Price, the senior, to break up a completion. But then that... This kills you. Yeah, it does. You got him third, you got him stopped. But you know what, Jack? I mean... And it's a first down. The good teams get breaks. It just seems to happen no matter what level you're at. It, it just happens. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that uh, they earn their breaks. You know, they, they put themselves in a position to... To take advantage of those breaks and like you said earlier the turnover ratio that they've had has been phenomenal and that's why they're where they're at plus 25 <laughs> that's that's great <laughs> but amazingly there's been a lot of balls on the ground this second half but there hadn't been turnovers Chris is with the first down the 29 it's a keeper by Lopez he has room I'll be done. Lopez down to the 12 and Chris is on the move again and they're back down in Goddard territory again. Jack, it seems like for the last 20 or 30 minutes of the football game, the, the whole game's being played to the right side of the fence. They're going to need a big one now. In the 13-yard line. Lopez tries to turn the corner. He does. Knocked out of bounds at around the leading 17-6 with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. Gomez. Touchdown, Las Cruces. Touchdown, Las Cruces. The Bulldogs. Touchdown, Gomez. Jack, isn't that Gomez's third touchdown? I believe it is. <laughs> well, they can I'm not going. They still have to kick because yeah, that, was a, that, that was an fun. encroachment call. And yes. It was a dead ball. Okay, I want to... Remind our viewers at home, we are in the same booth as the public address announcer. And Larry's the PA announcer who celebrated his 50th birthday tomorrow. Larry Altamirano. And he de definitely does get excited. Right. It's good. And the extra point is good. Las Cruces High has opened a 24 to 6 lead. Over the Goddard Rockets. And the Bulldogs now can taste the championship trophy. Back the way this game started, Cruces' defense has only given up an average of six points every game. When Goddard scored its first possession, it was, we hate to see that, um, what's been a great day here in Las Cruces, especially with the hometown team leading. But we understand somebody's been injured by the cannon that goes off uh, in the end zone. As soon as we have more information on that, we'll pass it along to you. Fortunately, the EMTs are, that's where they're ambulance is. Yeah, I can see them working on somebody down there. Here's a little trickery on the return for the Rockets. It's not going to work. 
Crucis didn't bite it. Uh, special teams for the Bulldogs now really having some fun. Uh, Jack, I can see the EMTs working on somebody. Walking in front of the cannon, the guys that are in charge did not see her, let the cannon go off. Her leg, it was on fire, there was smoke coming off yeah, her, her pant legs. But fortunately, the EMS was yes, right so there on the scene. Hopefully, they're taking care of the situation. I'll let you know if anything else comes of this. Second and oh, gee, that was... Well, I hope she's all right. Interception. Intercepted by Crucis. It's going to be a touchdown. That's a touchdown. There's a flag down. Flag on the play. But Crucis has intercepted the ball for a touchdown. There was an interception by number seven, Fernando Ortega, but there are two flags on the play. Oh, four flags. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I see four flags on the play. Four flags on the play. Back to that young lady. She's in the back of the ambulance now. And, oh, boy. Yeah, her, her leg appeared from our vantage point and from the people here in the PA booth. Her leg was uh, burnt up pretty badly. So we hope she's all right. And th thank goodness the EMTs were right there and she's in the back of the ambulance now. And well, we hope while we have some time, we'd like to thank the sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Peter Piper Pizza. Come for the pizza, stay for the fun. State National, welcome to the new state of banking. El Paso Electric. He is as he goes back under center. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Rick. All on the rocket, 15 yard line. Jack, is that a new quarterback in for Las Cruces? No. No, okay. it still looks like Lopez. Okay. Cruces moving in for the real kill. Down to the 10. I think they score here, and uh, Cruces is, will start putting a lot of their kids in, so they, they too can have an option. Yeah, I, I don't think Isaac Gomez is in the game. I think Rick just said that the trainers were working on him. Uh, couldn't exactly tell what his injury was or why they're working on him. That's why he's not in the football game, but too bad for Las Cruces. They have to bring in a guy like Roberto Moro. <laughs> yeah, it's tough when you yeah. have to bring in the kid that was the starter to begin with. And there he is, gain of two. In case you're wondering at home, Las Cruces is leading 24 to six. They've outscored opponents coming into this game, 535 to 86. Their average scores have been 41 to seven. The most points Cruces has scored this year were 63 points in Alamogordo. I don't see them getting 63 today but they could approach their scoring margin, especially if they could punch one in here. They'll have to hurry with six seconds to go in the quarter. They get it off, pitch comes to the right. Flag on the play, no game. Gomez is back in the game, all right. Holding against the Las Cruces Bulldogs, Okay, so that'll come back as we start the fourth quarter. Clock's not moving and they're running a play. <laughs> okay, Lopez to throw. Oh, and nice it job. Should have been intercepted. Pass Jernigan. He was looking into the sun. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. Lost in zone with a fan that was hit by the cannon. They say she's going to be okay. EMS was right on the spot. It's just precautionary. They're going to go and look around and check her over, but she should be fine. So that's good to hear. Back to you guys. All right, Rick. Thank you. Now, these two programs don't exhibit it, but uh, because they're very dedicated and uh, no good. Kick it off to the side. But I, I, I think uh, there's so many things for kids to do now. You know what, Jack? I'm feeling 24 to 6. Jack, it seems like today's coach isn't like yesterday's coach. What I mean by that, I was yelled at when I was playing, and, and uh, that's part of the game. And, and uh, the grabbing of the face mask could be an interception. Ooh. I think you have to approach him differently. Yeah, I, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it like going to Smith. Oh. Smith stopped running or he yep. had it. It still almost came up with a great grab, but Goddard's going to have to Smith. punt it away again. High school athletes 
appears to be more extensive. At least I know it is at, at KVIA. Um, do the kids? Is this? This wasn't a fake. This is a bad snap. What? Oh, brother. Almost intercepted. Well, he didn't need the interception. Right. He's got, <laughs> they're going to have illegal men downfield and everything. Definitely. At the collegiate level, and it's even trickling down into the high school level, they want to be on TV. So when you get to the end zone, you celebrate. You get noticed. So, so scouts see me so that people see that I'm marketable and that when I do get to college, I, I can market and, and help get me into the pros. That didn't seem like that was... Wh where is that coming from? Where, we have the, the band from Waterloo uh, performing. Uh, Larry, what, what, where's that coming from? That with flute. Anyway, it just seems like kids today perform for the cameras and for the media. I think that's part of the problem. And unfortunately, high school athletics has that trickle down effect from what they see on Sunday as well as what they see. You can correct it. It's the head coach that will correct you. You okay, don't see do 50 -50 a lot of... Uh, $1, now, that's not a bad 50-50 raffle. Somebody's going to win 1500 bucks. Are, are we eligible for that? I think that's our ticket, Lou. <laughs> I, I could do a lot of things with 15000 especially. No, 1500 this, Or 1500 <laughs> this time of the year. Pass from Ortega Lopez is incomplete. Incomplete. Looking for Ortega. Okay, once again, for $1,500, the winning ticket number is 826881. You have five minutes to come up to the PA box. Boy, somebody's <laughs> a happy camper. Yeah, if you can get up here in five minutes. <laughs> now, how can you get up here in five minutes if you happen to be a Goddard fan? You're in trouble. You have to undress. You'll see that guy crossing. Right, right. 1,500 bucks, I come across the field. Chris is on third and eight. Lopez will keep. Well short of the first down. In the game, and they ended up winning 29 to 15. Well, that's typical Mayfield Cruces game. Isaac Gomez with the carry. He played here at New Mexico State. And he's done a great job with this Las Cruces team for two years. What about we, one of the people that won the raffle just looked up at us in the press box and said, is that where I come? I'm like, yeah, I'll take that ticket and cash it for you. <laughs> yeah. Intercepted. I didn't see. Well, I guess, Lou, you and I didn't win that $1,500. <laughs> but he's doing and and his family's here and he'll stay here. Okay, we've just been told that Martin Cisneros won the $1,500. Martin Cisneros. Six. Just less than 10 minutes remaining in the football game. Cruces on its way toward its first state championship since 75. There's a pass that's caught. Fumble on the play, and they call it incomplete. It was incomplete. Something that nobody can ever take away from you, regardless of how your future goes. You can always say you played in a state championship football game. game and you got that one away. <laughs> Fielded at the 36. And a nice return to the fifth, uh, to the 49 yard line. So Cruz is again, he'll start in Lopez. He'll keep up the middle, gain of about three, maybe four. Ambrose the third, the mascot bulldog. I understand this is her last year. His, his or her That's last it, year. His, last, his year. last year. His last year as mascot. He's been mascot for seven years now, and we're gonna retire him. He's nine years old already, so uh, he's gonna go out a champion. We're gonna win this game. <laughs> Fantastic. Who's gonna replace him? Uh, he's one of his grandkids at seven months old. His name's Eli. Fantastic. Eli will take over. They're keeping it in the family. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Boy, Ambrose, I love that mascot. I did not know until right now that Ambrose was hanging it up. Jack, you're familiar with Ambrose, the Cruces mascot, the he, bulldog. He's announced he's his going retirement. Into retirement. Yeah. Oh well, somebody's got to get a new one. <laughs> well, they're gonna keep it in the family. I guess Ambrose has a grandson named Eli. Eli will be the new Cruces mascot. So they are, like Rick said, keeping it in the family. <laughs> What, what do you suppose Ambrose does for retirement? I have no idea. It looks like he hasn't missed many meals, so he's <laughs> probably uh, going to just continue to do that. <laughs> Chris is facing a third and one, leading 24-6, to six, less than eight minutes to go in the football game.
snap comes to Lopez, will keep it straight ahead. He's got the first down, and Chris Lopez, keeps the Lopez clock Perry. moving, and a first down. He didn't think he wanted to see this. He was going to go play golf today. I'm glad you brought that up, because I did speak with Bradley also uh, this past week, and I asked him if he was going to be on the golf course. Bradley, what a competitor. We're so fortunate to have him in our area. Oh, he's he is quite a guy. Down to the 31, maybe the 32-yard line. 6.42 remaining in the football game. I'm anxious to see uh, when Crucis wins the football game, and I think it's safe to say it, what kind of reception the crowd gives uh, the Bulldogs. I really want to see him go crazy, because this was something that became expected once the team, I think, got to 7-0, 8-0, and especially after they took care of Mayfield and they started getting into the playoffs. I think this place is just going to go wild. They're just going to, and right, rightly they should. The uh, kids have done a great job, the coaches, the fans. Uh, it's a good deal. And On second and eight, it's the option. Goddard's hanging in there. I think this is about time to see Jim Miller get the Gatorade back. Oh, I think it's only right. He <laughs> definitely needs to. <laughs> Nobody's been snooping around it, though. And Miller was at Roswell. He played one of the one of the greatest games uh, that I know that I was around. Uh, Miller, uh, they won it on a drop pass in the end zone with no time on the clock. Really? And it, it was a lot of fun. And, and uh, I've gotten to know Jim over the years, and and uh, he deserves every bit of this that he's getting. As you mentioned earlier, Cruz has had to sit there and watch Mayfield High win all those championships in this decade. Now they get one of their own, and being a member of the El Paso media, boy, it makes it a lot more fun to cover these football games and to cover these teams when they're winning. <laughs> well, and you know the momentum next year at Mayfield. I mean, Cruces will have to back it up, and then Mayfield is going to want it back, so that rivalry will stay strong, and they'll be in their brand-new stadium next year. Right. Have you been out there yet? Yes, I have, and it is just fantastic. It's a, it's a great high school. Heck, it'd be a great college facility. I've only seen pictures, and I agree with you. It looks state-of-the-art. I mean, it looks terrific. They have one side uh, done, and hopefully they'll get the money to put the other side in. It'll see about 15000 and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful place. What Jack and I were talking about is the three Las Cruces area high schools, Mayfield, Las Cruces High, and Oñate, play their home football games on the same field that the New Mexico State football team plays. A lot of fun. It's nice to see the colleges be successful. We don't ever miss a, we never miss a, an Aggie game. And uh, uh oh, there goes Smith. I don't think anybody will catch Smith. He's gone. Was that a 98-yard pass play? <laughs> well, score for their kids, but you know you almost want it over with. Oh, and he, he had dropped the ball. Dropped. Las Cruces high, 24. Goddard high, 12. We're back after this. Band director for the Las Cruces Bulldogs marching band. You consistently do a great job in state. When that clock hits zero, what are we going to hear you guys play? Las Cruces High School Bulldog fight song, of course. <laughs> Let's hear a little bit of it. so unnoticed and Cruces High has a great one as you can tell get that fight song ready because Las Cruces High is going to win this football game and I hope they don't make me eat crow Jack because it's only a, a 12 point lead they won't this, five minutes left. this is a fun part onside kicks are always a lot of fun and that didn't go 10 Hello? nope sure didn't did go 10 Hello? Referees aren't saying it did. It didn't go 10 yards. Look where the ball's at. Yeah. <laughs> They're talking it over. They're probably saying, did Cruz just hit it? Look that at Jim Miller. Yards. He's, what, 15 yards out onto the field? He's standing on the numbers at the 50-yard line. 
There's no way that football went 10 yards. No. Let's see if we get an explanation. The officials call timeout. Yeah, okay. Right. Real quickly, Jack, uh, just a few minutes ago, somebody returned, do you say a set or a pair or dentures? A set of dentures to our PA guy, Larry. <laughs> well, I tell you, it, uh, <laughs> you wonder how you lose something like that, but I guess somebody did. Those weren't yours, were they, Jack? Uh, no, no, mine are in solid. I use the right <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'd like to report these. This to the lost and found. Oh, yeah, what do you got there, son? Uh, a set of dentures. Oh, brother. Did you announce it over the PA, Larry, that someone lost a set of dentures? That got him <laughs> up here. <laughs> they noticed it. Crystals will put it in play. First and 10 from the 47-yard line, leading 24 to 12. Four minutes, 52 seconds to go. No reason to pass, obviously. Run the clock out and start celebrating. Lopez gets it to the 43-yard line. Did you see, Jack, uh, it was about a month ago, and uh, our producer Eric Hughesby can probably refresh my memory here. Some woman bid on the dentures of former Hall of Fame great Ty Cobb. Did you hear about that, Eric? They auctioned off his dentures, and they I, I don't think they said what the exact price was, but it was up around seventy-five or $80,000. I guess some people well, have a strange... Was it? Are you sure it was only 7000 but anyhow, regardless of, of, of the money, what exactly do you do with Ty Cobb's dentures? Jack, I don't know. I think, uh, I think maybe those are some strange people. And you know what? She admitted it. I remember her saying, yes, I'm a little bit different. I don't know. I just want it. I don't have anything to auction off. I'm trying to think. I think I have a lock of hair from when I was like one years old. Oh, that would be real, real valuable. But imagine that. I had like thick hair when I was one. Not that I'm a hairy guy or anything. Was that about 48, 49 yeah, years it. ago? Yeah, knock it off. <laughs> the clock is running. Less than four minutes to go. Cruces has the football and the state championship in the bag. Second and 13, flag on the play. That's incredible. Let the game finish. That's what I say. You just heard Larry mention the trophy presentation. Naturally, we will have that for you at the conclusion of the game. And for the last time, we'd like to remind you that KVIA TV, ABC, Channel 7 in El Paso will air a tape delay broadcast of the Las Cruces High Roswell game, Goddard game, Quad A Championship. You can view it tonight at 10.35 or Sunday at 11 a.m. Thank you, Larry. I think you're going to find a lot of people are going to tape that game. I sure hope so, because it's, it's been a lot of fun. I haven't done play-by-play -play since college, Jack, and that was actually radio play-by-play, -play, which, you know, is much more fun because you have to be more descriptive. TV has been kind of an adjustment for me, even though I, I do television every day, but it's different because the people at home can actually see what's going on, which allows us to talk about Ty Cobb's dentures. There you go. You know, where else can you talk about that? <laughs> Under three minutes now, third and 12 for Cruz is high. They've got a 24 to 12 lead. And a whistle. Come on, fellas. <laughs> let's, let's end this thing, especially for the people who are sitting on the press box side. They've been in the cold because the sun is still on the far side of the field, so those people are getting the warmth of the sun. But it is chilly here at Haggy Memorial, and the people on our side of the field want this game to end. <laughs> Chris is so excited about getting ready to celebrate. Their, their concentration isn't there. We'd like to thank everyone once again for coming out today to the championship game. Hang in there, Jack. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. There's Coach Miller. I keep looking for that bucket of water. 
I'll be disappointed if they don't get him because he definitely deserves it. But he's going to be freezing after he gets hit with that water. I mean, it is chilly down there. That's okay. He won't even feel it. He'll feel it. Yeah. Third and 17 for Las Cruces High. They're less than three minutes away from a state football championship. Here we go. Uh, that's, that's a live ball, no? No, I threw it back. It was over. It, yeah. It had, to, it had to hit the ground first. If it hit the ground first, it would have been live. Because I remember I was covering a, a state championship football game. Was that forward? Yeah. Uh, Jack, you remember that play? I think it might have been the semifinals or maybe it Goddard was Goddard Mayfield right here. Yeah, and I was actually shooting the game on he bounced videotape. Pa he bounced past it over there and then mm -hmm. threw it forward. Yeah. That was a couple of years ago. But that's Jernig again coming up with those uh -huh. crazy plays. Oh, so it was Goddard. It was Goddard. Okay. Goddard Mayfield. Which, by the way, was the best high school football game I'd ever seen. Chisholm. I mean, Cheatham. Cheatham on the return. He's pummeled at the 35-yard line. 24 to 12 is our score. 226 to go. Chris is high on the verge of capturing state. We're back in a moment. I mean, it's, a, it's only a 12-point lead. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm thinking that, uh, well, one thing now that they're down in, around the 20-yard line, that cuts, that cuts that distance where all that speed is beneficial. It makes a nice play here. Goddard won't roll over. They're down 12, two minutes to go. Naturally, if they can get one in the end zone, you got the onside kick to come, and who knows? But it seems like Cruces is waiting around to win. And I don't blame him. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> well, if they got the touchdown two-point, Goddard still has to score another touchdown in what will probably be close to a minute left yeah. if they ever get the ball back. Although, Jack, stranger things have happened. In this crazy they have. Football. Well, well, here we go. First and 10, Goddard. They've got it at the Cruces, 22, 218 to go. They're down 12. Three receivers in the ball game. Ramirez fires. It's caught at the 15. Shakes the tackle down to the 10. No huddle now for the Rockets. And a timeout. Is that an official timeout? It's not a first and goal. Are they saying it's first and goal? First and goal. First and goal. Right. It is first and goal. Okay, first and goal from the 10. First and goal for the Rockets. Ramirez fires to the right side, caught at the five, down to the three, tackled at the two. Oh boy. <laughs> this could get fun here. 148 remaining in the football game. The clock is running. Again, the Rockets, no huddle. Three receivers are in, one setback. Ramirez starts to his left, it's an option. The ball was juggled, he's down to the he goal line. The ball. He fumbled the football. Yeah. One referee put his arms in the air, Jack, as if it were a touchdown. They're calling it a fumble. They are calling it a fumble. Well, that's basically fumble, the football game fired, right there. The I'd really like to see that again. Well, you've got this on instant replay, right? Right. I'm, I'm waiting to see if they show that to us again. But either way, Crucis will have the football. With 131 to go, they can take the knee and capture the championship. I don't think they're going to take a knee down there. No, you can't on the two, can you? It's a little tough. Of course, then there's the other thought. Take a knee, give them the two, and then punt the ball deep. You know, I don't like that at all. I, don't. I know it makes sense, but I, I'd hate to do that. Yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes it's just a, you know, it's a strategy, and sometimes it's a good deal. But it can always backfire. Mm-hmm. Just, just have to trust that my players are going to hang on to the football. 
You ever see that movie, All the Right Moves? I don't believe I have. The Tom Cruise. Oh, yes, yes. Craig T. Nelson from Coach, he was yes. the coach in that movie. Right. Can you remember they had that team from Walnut Heights beat? And they had the ball like on the one yard line and all they had to do was sit on the ball. But they ran a play, it was a handoff and he fumbled it and the other team recovered in the end zone to win the game. That'll do it. And then I remember the guys in the bar back in Pennsylvania, I think it was Ampipe, American Pipe and Steel. They were saying, why don't they just take the safety and punt it out of there? And I, I don't agree with that at all. I run a play. But yeah, had he done it, they'd have won the game. So what are we talking about, Jack? We got 122 to go here. In the fourth quarter, 24 to 12, Las Cruces High is about to be crowned state champions. Well, I'll tell you, old uh, Goddard gave them everything they wanted to have. Rockets came out and scored on the first possession. They went for the two, didn't get it, but still they took the momentum with a 6 nothing lead. And then Cruces just unloaded about midway through the second quarter, and they picked it up again in the second half. It's a second and nine for the Bulldogs. It's a handoff. Gomez turns the corner. There it the is, corner. first down, that's it. That should be the ball. Take the knee now, Jack. Can you take a knee now? You can take a knee now. Okay. It was hard for me to imagine Las Cruces losing this football game at home. They're going to complete the perfect undefeated season. Jack, did you ever know anybody who played on that Cruces championship team in 75? No, I wasn't in the state in 75. I didn't get here until 80, so. There you go, Larry. You Larry was there, it. Larry? Larry's the PA announcer. Larry probably has a ring, too. Altamirano? I'd have, Altamirano, is that how you say it? I'd have had a ring. It didn't have mattered where. <laughs> Gomez, 48 seconds and counting. I'm really anxious to see the reception. This crowd is going to give its football team for going undefeated and capturing the title. What's in it? If security thinks they're going to keep people off the field, <laughs> they're dreaming. Goddard calls a timeout. That just gives this crowd a chance to warm up. It's been 14 years. 24 years, 24 years. Thanks, Harry. They will be all over my first year. Really? They will be all over you. Larry, you got a minute? Do some TV with us here? Sure. Tell us about that year in 75 when uh, you were teaching there in Cruces last Wednesday. I tell you what, it was a great year. The Bulldogs went all the way. Uh, it was an interesting game. Uh, the fans were there as they've always been. It's a shame that uh, they haven't been there more often, but uh, tell you what, uh, Bulldogs look like they're going to be coming up uh, this next few years. Larry, I'm guessing that you had a chance to see Cruces play all their home games this year, right? That's correct. They've done outstanding. Uh, a lot of the games, uh, unfortunately, haven't been real interesting, but the game against uh, the Trojans was, once again, always uh, the rivalry that it turns out to be. Uh, Mayfield did an outstanding job at, during that game. Oh, Cruces has the better football team this year. <coughs> here, comes the, here comes the Gatorade. I see two players with oh, the bucket. If you right. guys want to ISO. Lineman, you got to depend on lineman. Get on Jim Miller. He's about to get drenched. There they go. There it is. <laughs> Listen to the crowd. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach, and the rest of the Bulldogs. That's it. That's the end of the game. Twenty. Twenty-four years of frustration. They sound the balloons. Las Cruces High, champions of the New Mexico football world. 24 to 12, final score, Cruces defeats Goddard. Jack, they did it. They sure did. <laughs> what a great, uh, what a great season and you'll never top this one. I don't care if you have five more. The first one I think is, is always the sweetest. It's fantastic. 
what a year. I'm just watching this crowd. Jack, they, they haven't charged the field, probably out of respect for the trophy it presentation. Could be, yeah. Wait till afterwards, okay. Well, that's that's still to, to be commended. The, the fans here at Aggie Memorial are ready to, to storm the field. And of course, we'll have the trophy presentation. The state championship the goes to Las Cruces High. We'll have that for you when we come 12 over God. It was a great game, a great season, and uh, I really, uh, you can't give anything but great credit to the entire Las Cruces program. Right now, they're giving them the state championship trophy. Let's head down now for the trophy presentation. Hang with us, Robert. One sec here. We're here with Robert Murrow. You made a return from the dead with the Skeletor mask. What are you feeling right now? Oh, my God. It's great to just beat the guys that put me out of playoffs last year. I put me out of this season. Out of Mar this season, you know. And, like, they're a great ball club. They're, they're great players, you know. But someone had to win, you know. I don't like seeing people losing, but, you know, thank God we won. And we did it. Ever since they put us out of playoffs, we wanted to come back and, you know, prove everybody, you know, how, how much we, we're worth it. And it's, been, it's great. It's been a great season. And it just we, we did it. We, we won. Congratulations. Congratulations. Enjoy. We'll have more post game in a second. We're going to try to catch up with Coach Jim Miller in a few moments after the trophy presentation, guys. The executive director of the MAA is about to present the championship trophy to Jim Miller, coach of the Las Cruces Bulldogs. culminate a year like that and, and to go 14 and 0 and and, and just to, to see that clock go 24 12 at 0 0 0 uh oh it's awesome it's awesome i tell you what and uh, uh I, I i don't know what to say i mean I, i'm just i'm just stunned i mean to, to to do that and accomplish that is awesome coaches always talk about the players what's it feel that know you help the players get to the pinnacle oh it, that's the best thing because you know you're in the business for the kids and and uh, to see these kids uh, progress like they have and, and to co overcome all obstacles to, to go 14 and 0 is tough and the schedule we had and just to motivate those kids playing uh, you know undefeated teams and playing teams that didn't win and, and it was just a roller coaster type of atmosphere but I tell you what these kids stuck in it every week and 14 weeks is a long season and uh, you know it's just it's, it's awesome feeling to see that what are the Las Cruces Bulldogs and Jim Miller do for an encore now? I, uh, you know, I, 28 no, maybe, uh, you know, in the next two years. But, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy this one right now. And uh, we'll, we'll wait a couple weeks and enjoy this. And we'll continue uh, to do our success next Congratulations, year. Congratulations, Coach. You, appreciate it. Great appreciate job. It. Thanks a lot. Coach Jim Miller, Las Cruces Bulldogs. A perfect 14 0 season for the Bulldogs. That's it from here. Back to you guys. The final score from Aggie Memorial Stadium in Las Cruces, the Las Cruces High School Bulldogs, 24. You see those darn kids were celebrating their perfect season and a 4A state championship. The Las Cruces High Bulldogs were just awesome in beating Roswell Goddard yesterday. Dogs defense allowing an early touchdown then sh totally shutting down the Rockets. One point they even forced Goddard into foaming on three straight plays. Isaac Gomez says he was all year. All the offensive dogs would need three touchdowns on the day, including this one to make it 24-6. They end up winning it 24-12. The city of Las Cruces has now won three of the last four state titles, with Mayfield getting the prior three, which brings up the obvious question for a Gatorade-soaked Jim Miller. What do the Las Cruces Bulldogs and Jim Miller do for an encore now? I, uh, you know, I, 28 no, maybe, uh, you know, in the next two years. But, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy this one right now. And uh, we'll, we'll wait a couple weeks and enjoy this. And we'll continue uh, to do our success next Congratulations, year. Congratulations, Coach. You, appreciate it. Old Southwest Conference rival, Arkansas. Arkansas.